follow me? He used revelation out of many things. Folks, the revelation of Jesus Christ. You know what the mind of God, you know what revelation is? It gives you a peek into the better of the world. Just a little look into it as to what it's all about. Just a little look. Amen. How many remember that when Brother Pierce was here, how that I was out here on the other side of the outhouse here and I was praying. And I was thinking about the angel in the book of Revelation. Now, Brother Pierce has been here many times, right? A number of times. He has never come out there to use the bathroom or anything. But that particular night, Sister Michelle, here he come. I didn't know it. I was standing there and I was praying, just like this, and just like this praying about that angel. And Brother Pierce walks wearing a white shirt. And he walks here, and I turned to Larry, I said, Lord, here he is. That's what I said. I said, here he is. There's the angel. And Brother Pierce said, and it's, he backed up. He said, oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to bother this. It's all right. It's all right. God knows what he's doing. And so he just come on back to the church. Now, he drove a white Trans Am. Parked it right there. Got a big eagle right on the hood. And here I was, coming back in. And I, as I come through the back door, and I seen that eagle. And I walked over to the bar. a nice-looking car. And there was that eagle. And it was white. I said, but you know, the power is under the hood. Or it's within the veil. Right. Everything that's got power comes from within. The light bulb shines from within and out. The motor is concealed under the hood of the car. That's where your power is. The power is within. All right? His name being James Pierce. Has to do with the book of James. And it has to do with the Pierce in Jesus' hands. It was perfect as him coming. And how the trans and don't be conformed, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind. It was beautiful. How many members that night? It was perfect. As to what happened. And him wearing the white shirt has to do with glorification. Yeah. It's perfect as to how it fit together just like a puzzle. Now you that was here, that wasn't here, you don't know what I'm talking about, but those that you was, you do know what I'm saying. Had to do with the great revelational thing. The keystone. The lock on the capstone. That's what it's doing. This is the consummation of all things. As to the finishing of the mystery. I ain't talking about what I'm preaching. I'm talking about what the church is preaching and coming into. You know what I'm saying. As to revelation. You know, I was down in Georgia talking to Brother George Pike. And he was talking. He really got. I seen when the Spirit of the Lord come upon him. His eyes begin to glaze. Now, I'm telling you the truth. I was standing just this close. Here, that he said, Brother God, I want to talk to you. Now, he began to talk. The Spirit of the Lord came over him, and his eyes got crazy. He began into some revelation things, and I was caught up in what he was saying. He began to things I was in ministry. And he began to begin to preach. A man walked up behind, and immediately, he was going to probably go turn the book. He got up with an intellectual thing. Brother Spirit. That's right. No. God is doing is to have you to overcome your thoughts and bring them under subjection and just continue right on as into the revelation. So, these things, what, what is the new name? I believe, you might have a different, a different opinion, that's fine, but I believe it's the identification with that new body, put you on the Lord Jesus Christ, 
and is coming down by revelation. That's what I believe. That's what I believe is doing. Identifying you with the new thing that's going on. God said, I'm going to do a fast work. I'm going to do a new thing. I'm going to do a new work. All things have passed away. Behold, all things have become new and entering right on into it now. I'm just going to change it from glory to glory until we reach the ultimatum. That is the high call. Let's stand to your feet. I didn't mean to hold you so long. I wanted to talk to you about some things as to that new name. And, and Jesus being that white stone, you become bone of his bone and flesh of his flesh. You become that stone. And you know what you're doing? You take that stone and you begin to minister and you're the one that's bringing that stone down through Babylon and destroying all the kingdoms, all the man's traditions and creeds and doctrines and bring it all down to set up the kingdom of God within the mind of his people. See, and this is what I believe is going on. Because God is doing something so marvelous that the whole world's missing it. And yet he's found a few little people that will believe it and stand for it. Amen. Brother Hall says something. Hallelujah. You need to have prayer for anything, I want you to come. I'd like to pray with you, whatever the need is. Here the blessed Savior.